Well, also, also we think there's a lot of water that was once on Mars, which is a certainty. And we think it's just sitting below in a permafrost. So you wouldn't have to bring water to Mars. By the way, in the really distant future, you can just redirect a comet and get all the water you need. But How far distant is that? The comet's everywhere, dude. We're in a right. shooting gallery. Yeah, that's not what I asked. Oh, how what? far oh. <laughs> away do you think it is before we could redirect oh, How far water? away in time? Yes. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, we know how to do it, but there's no real incentive. So there's no engineering, funded engineering plan to do it. But we know how to do it on paper. We know how to do it in a conceivable way? Oh, yeah. You, so, there, so first of all, it happens with or without us because we are in the shooting path of countless thousands of asteroids and comets. Right. So what you would do is you'd find one that's headed close to us anyway in the seventh orbit down the line or the hundredth orbit down the line. And then you'd slightly deflect it in such a way that it would then collide with Mars or even Earth if you wanted. If Earth needed some more fresh water.